Division Wrestling Cruiserweight Champion, F. Here we go, the opening contest here on All Action Wrestling. Cruiserweight Champion Fred is in action against Ray Leonard. Ray Leonard, as mentioned before, oh, a competitor in the Cruiserweight Championship Tournament for the gentleman first ever Cruiserweight Champion. As the Irish whips the Cruiserweight Champ, but Fred catches him and does a belly to belly. Ray Leonard trying to impress the GM while also trying to one up the Cruiserweight Champion. Maybe catch him by surprise and get a win here tonight. You can see Ray Leonard now very, very confused off that running knee strike. And Fred with a huge drop kick, and Ray Leonard goes into the corner. And he delivers a knife edge chop to Ray Leonard. And now Fred tried a hard Kirana, but Ray Leonard sees it coming and nails Fred with the crossbody. And a kick out at one by the Cruiserweight Champion. Ray Leonard could upset the Cruiserweight Champion here tonight if the Cruiserweight Champion does not take Ray Leonard seriously in a springboard savage kick by Fred. And now Irish whip into the corner by Fred. He fakes him out again, but this time Ray Leonard hits him back with a knife edge chop as he does a spinning back kick to the Cruiserweight Champion. And now Ray Leonard looking to deliver more offense with a sunset flip powerbomb. Oh, and a kick out at two. A close, really close to a three count for Ray Leonard. And now a forearm smash to Fred. And another forearm smash. And now Fred, he's in the corner as Ray Leonard now. Look at that amazing hard can run on to the Cruiserweight champion. And now Ray Leonard, he's going to ascend the top rope. He's going to fly. Ray Leonard now with the rolling senton. One. No, and only a one count on the Cruiserweight champ. Now, Ray Leonard now in control of this match. He is in control of the Cruiserweight champion. As Ray Leonard. Oh, Irish whip by Fred. But look at Ray Leonard. Look at the amazing balance by Ray Leonard. Ray Leonard currently is all over the Cruiserweight champion. Who will be in control when we come back here to All Action Wrestling? We are back here on All Action Wrestling. As you can tell, the fans have gotten quieter as Fred has taken control. But just as soon as I say that, Ray Leonard counters a move and tries his best to get back into control as he nails Fred with a Northern Life suplex. These two men have thrown everything at each other, and Fred is now a s Fred rolling away as Ray ascends the top rope and nails him with a splash. And Fred, no! I thought that was the end of Fred. Okay, what type of weird kickout animation was that? But anyway, I thought that was the end of Fred right there. That rest hand was getting closer and closer for a three count. As Ray Leonard now, Ray Leonard has Fred in the arm bar. It seems like the entire Cruiserweight division knows Fred has weak arms. And now look at Fred countering out of it with the headstand twisting Harn Kenrana. That was amazing. Knife edge chop by the Cruiserweight champ. Another knife edge chop. Another knife edge chop. Another knife edge chop by the Cruiserweight champ. And now he throws Ray Leonard. But Ray Leonard grabs onto the apron and Fred... Reaction time quicker than Spidey Sense nails him. And look at Fred with the red arrow. A red arrow outside the ring. That could be the end of Ray Leonard. You see the ref checking on Ray Leonard. And Fred now bragging, bragging and gloating for the amount of damage he just did to Ray. I have no clue how Ray is getting back up. It's got to be off an of instinct. It's Fred now. It's just all over Ray Leonard. The heart of this young man cannot be underestimated as Fred nails Ray Leonard with a capricator. And Ray Leonard kicks out. 
Ray Leonard kicks out, but I'm very positive that was a three. I heard a third smack on the canvas. I'm no fool. And now Fred dragging Ray Leonard near the corner. And now Fred with the red arrow. One, two, that's it. Ray Leonard, you put up quite the hard-fought match against Fred. But just like that, the Cruiserweight Champion is victorious in yet another match. Fred Victorious yet again continuing his winning streak here on All Action Wrestling. Ray Leonard really gave the Cruiserweight Champion quite a scare here tonight. But Fred, as you can see, is not done as he gets his steel chair. He's about to assault Ray Leonard with the steel chair. He's sizing him up, but look! Look, it's Ty London! Ty London saving Ray Leonard and chasing off the Cruiserweight Champion. The number one contender for the Cruiserweight Championship chases off Fred and saves Ray Leonard from possible disaster. Sup, everybody. It's me, Jacob Ball. Former AEW champion, Jacob Ball. It pains me to say that, but it's happened. And I'm not here to make excuses. I'm not here to say that I should be champion. Kirk Anthony beat me fair and square. And it's taken me a while to grasp that reality that I am no longer your AEW champion. I let all of you down. And I shall do that no more. That is why next week, I am getting my rematch. I invoked my rematch clause for next week on All Action Wrestling. So next week, you will see Jacob Ball versus Kirk Anthony for the AAW Championship. And I will do everything in my power to make sure that I become AAW champion once again. I will do everything in my power to make sure I strip the super athlete of the championship. And I will do everything in my power to make sure I go home happy as the AAW champion and I send all of you home happy seeing me as the AAW champion once again. So Kirk, I'll see you next episode. Washington, weighing in at 212 pounds, Elijah Bull. Here we go. Elijah Wolf, Cody Lynn. The winner advances to the finals of the AAW number one contenders cruiserweight championship tournament. Wow, I just said that all. Right. The winner advances to the finals of the AAW global championship number one contenders tournament. There we go. And Cody Lynn drops double knees on the face of Elijah Wolf. But yes, the winner faces to the finals. The winner heads to the finals. What the hell is going on with me? As Elijah Wolf now pounds away, striking open palm strikes to Cody Lynn. The winner of this match heads to the finals to face Kyle Tyson. And the winner of that match will face Greg Griffin in a one-on-one -on -one match for the AAW Global Championship. 
This tournament has been amazing so far. And next episode, we will see a winner. Will it be Kyle Tyson? Will it be Cody Lynn? Will it be Elijah Wolf? We are going to find out if at least it'll be Elijah or Cody as Elijah now. More open palm strikes to the face of the former global champion himself. Cody Lynn, a former AAW global champion in his own right. Longest reigning AAW global champion. He still believes he's Mr. AAW even after, oh, oh my Jesus, even after just disowning the AAW fans as anybody who wants to care about anymore. Longest reigning AEW Global Champion used to defend the Global Championship in you in open title matches. Oh man, true WWE fans know what I nearly slipped up and said. In Global Championship open challenges, Cody Lynn used to do one of those every episode or every other episode or so. It came back to backfire on him when he lost the championship to Greg Griffin. And now Greg Griffin has held on to the championship since episode 42. And Cody Lynn has been looking to climb the mountain ever since then to get back the global championship. And by winning this tournament, he could get another shot at Greg Griffin. As he is just pounding away with the forearm strikes. And now Cody Lynn, Elijah, oh, thought he counted the moonsault. But Cody lands on his feet. He sees it coming and Elijah kicks out at two. Who will advance to the finals to face Kyle Tyson? Will it be Cody? Will it be Elijah? Will he land this aerial maneuver? Okay, he doesn't. We will be back on All Action Wrestling as Elijah Wolf does a running STO. We're back on All Action Wrestling as Elijah Wolf nails Cody Lynn with the piercing elbow to the heart, and he doesn't even get a one count. Cody Lynn does not even allow this man to get a one count, not giving him any hope whatsoever, any confidence in this match. As Elijah Wolf now. Irish whip, Cody Lynn, and Cody counters and nails Elijah with the clothesline. And now trying to get back to his feet as Elijah as he gets met with a forearm smash by the former global champion as Cody Lynn now ascends the top rope. Oh, double axe handle misses. Excuse me. I am so sorry. Kick to the gut by Cody. Forearm. Irish whip now. And he pulls him back and nails him with the knee to the face. And now Cody Lynn looking for some rolling thunder on Elijah Wolf as he now ascends the top rope. He's looking to put an end to it. And Cody Lynn now with the spiral tap on Elijah Wolf. This could be the end of Elijah right here. Two. No, and a kick out. A kick out at two by Elijah Wolf. What a star Elijah Wolf has made himself to be. He defeated former global champion the tank. Could he defeat another former global champion? No, he counters. Elijah Wolf picks Cody up on his shoulders, dropping him on his knee. This could be the end. This could be the match right here. One, two, no, and a no, he just he just let him go. Elijah Wolf lets Cody Lynn go. That could be a huge mistake. Cody could counter at any moment as he gets nailed with the King Sasa running knee to the face. And Cody Lynn kicks out at two. I warned Elijah Wolf that that could be a huge mistake as he nails. Oh, he's ready for another King Sasa. Cody Lynn gets hit with another two. And Cody Lynn now. Elijah Wolf keeps letting go of the cover. Why? And Cody Lynn counters the moonsault. And Cody Lynn now slams Elijah Wolf's head down to the mat. Cody Lynn giving, was given multiple chances by Elijah Wolf to come back into this match. Elijah wants the best of Cody, obviously. He feels he can beat him even if he's being cocky. I don't know if that's going to work out so well for you, Elijah. As Cody Lynn now does a running corner clothesline to Elijah Wolf. And Cody Lynn wasting very little time in this match. Elijah Wolf, this mistake could have came back to bite you as Cody Lynn nails you with the brain buster. And a kick out at one. Oh, shit. <laughs> Elijah Wolf. Kicks out at one. Cody Lynn is in disbelief. Look at Elijah Wolf back on his feet. 
Look at the look at the hang time he's getting with those knee strikes. Four straight knee strikes to Cody Lynn. Look at this. Running elbows. Oh, and a slingshot by Elijah Wolf. Now look at Elijah. He's getting hype in the corner. He's telling Cody Lynn to get up. Elijah Wolf looking to put an end to this match right here as he drops Cody on his knee once more. And now Elijah Wolf preparing that knee for the KO blow and a running knee strike. King Shasta again. King Shasta for the third time. One, two, that's it. Elijah Wolf advances to the finals to face Kyle Tyson in this tournament. Here is your winner, Elijah.